Good news for those of you dreading filing your 2020 tax return. The deadline has been extended to May 17th. May 15th falls on a Saturday, so they gave you an extra couple of days there and a month. Uh, the IRS is now busy sending out another round of stimulus payments while processing tax returns and refunds also. And joining us now to discuss the latest news about this tax season is Andrew Poulos, principal of Poulos Accounting and Consulting. Welcome to BNC, Andrew. Thank you for having me. Nice to have you. Hey, I was jumping for joy when I heard about the extension. I think a lot of people are breathing a sigh of relief. Uh, so tell us, uh, we've got the extension, but are there new tax laws this year to address those provisions in personal and business income tax? Certainly. Uh, I think we're all excited to have the deadline extended, obviously, for the obvious reasons. We've got so many moving components this year with uh, the stimulus payments coming in. Uh, individuals who have not received either possibly the first or second round can receive it as a recovery rebate on their 2020 return. And also to note that uh, with this latest bill that passed, uh, $10,200 of unemployment becomes non-taxable. So for those reasons, obviously, and others, uh, it was almost uh, inevitable that the IRS would have to extend the deadline to allow people to file correct and accurate returns without rushing, making mistakes. And then we have bigger issues with, uh, you know, tens of thousands of amended returns later on. So I think this was a good uh, uh, good position for the IRS to take the extended deadline. What about the actual stimulus uh, package? What do you think about that? Were you happy to see uh, Americans getting those checks right away? Do you think it was enough? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, there's a, I mean, I'm certainly happy to see that they uh, made it 1400 uh, across the board for all individuals, including children. Uh, so it keeps it sort of simple. Everyone can understand what they're getting, what to expect. Um, of course, there's always a fine line of how much money does the Fed and the government pump into the economy to keep everything stabilized and going until we can get out of the pandemic. Uh, and also, you know, with not pumping out too much to create inflation that could, of course, hurt uh, the American people later on. Uh, but overall, no, I am pleased with the 1400 that was issued. Um, the uh, swiftness of the Biden administration, of course, pushing it out right away also helps because those of need truly need the money and can't afford the wait. Hopefully we'll have few, far fewer uh, technical issues with the IRS issuing these payments this time around than what we experienced in the first and second round. That way people can actually get the money now versus having to wait uh, six or months or a year from now to be able to get that money in the form of a tax refund. Yeah, people need that money now. So we know under the Trump administration, the tax laws had changed. Um, and then, of course, now we're seeing some changes with this new administration. It gets pretty confusing. Can you tell us kind of where things stand now as to what you should be looking for when you're filing your taxes? Uh, anything stand out to you? I mean, there's so many things we could talk about with the different changes. Sure. Yeah, the we had obviously under the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, that was the largest tax reform we've had probably in well over 30 years. Uh, none of those laws really have been uh, repealed or changed at the moment. Uh, we are expecting to see Biden administration, of course, uh, take on the challenge of tax reform again. Uh, there's uh, chatter about that, but nothing really uh, imminent at the moment. I think we're going to roll through this year dealing with the pandemic. Uh, a few things to note, of course, uh, we are in the midst of tax season. So, you know, it's now that the deadline's been extended. Uh, plan wisely if you're in a position where you can contribute to a retirement account. Certainly you want to do that. Or if you have children, you can contribute to a college uh, savings plan to be able to lower your tax liability and invest uh, your money wisely from a financial perspective. Uh, the one thing I also want to point out that oftentimes is it's missed now is the health care penalty has been repealed. However, those who uh, receive insurance through the marketplace uh, for the for, through the Affordable Care Act, they still need to report that and reconcile those uh, uh, subsidies they received on their tax return. Uh, we see uh, uh, oftentimes folks forget about that now that the penalty has been repealed and then they try to file the return electronically and the IRS uh, unfortunately rejects it. It creates delays in them processing their return and getting their refund. So just be cautious to be able to you know, uh, file a correct return because anything that you do that may delay your return will just inevitably delay your refund potentially for weeks or months out there since the IRS is still processing uh, millions of returns for 2019 and is behind. Wow, great tips. Thank you so much. We're out of time, but we appreciate all of your advice in helping us 
uh, dig through this uh, new tax season and what we're dealing with. Thanks so much, Andrew Poulos of Poulos Accounting. Now stay with us, everyone. BNC Live is coming up after the break with more news. Stay with us.